point. Let's talk about your relevant experience. Okay. Well, I graduated from uh, law school, Pace University Law School, down in White Plains, New York, in 1989. And I wanted the most challenging job that I could find in the criminal justice system. And I always wanted to be a prosecutor. So I took a job right out of law school with the Bronx County District Attorney's Office. Uh, it was a very busy place. They hired 50 new attorneys at one time. That's how busy it was for prosecutors down there. There were over 600 murders in the Bronx that year in 1990 when I was first starting out. So you can only imagine how busy it is, but that's really what you want as a young prosecutor. And I guess if you're, you're a young physician, you want to work in an emergency room, this was pretty much equal to that. Uh, it was a very busy place. I got a lot of experience very quickly. Uh, I did a lot of trial work, like one, two years out of law school, which is uh, unheard of these days. Uh, and I stayed there for seven years working on violent felony cases, narcotics prosecutions, uh, as well as did some grand jury work and work in the criminal courts. So I was very well rounded as a prosecutor. I moved up to Broome County with my wife and children uh, where we wanted to settle and raise our family. Uh, I worked for Jerry Mullen as a senior assistant district attorney for uh, 11 years in the uh, DA's office. And I was in private practice uh, after my well-known run for DA in 2007, uh, which was unsuccessful. But I did learn a lot from that experience. And actually, that was a, uh, a benefit because it allowed me to go into private practice where I was working in family court and doing other types of law as well as criminal defense, uh, which made me a more uh, well-rounded prosecutor. So when Steve Cornwell got elected in uh, tw the end of 2015 and 2016, I started back as the chief assistant district attorney. Um, I believe that being an experienced trial attorney is very important for the position of Broome County DA. I have over 100 jury trials uh, that I've conducted, 14 murder trials to verdict. Um, that's more than any other uh, attorney in the county that does trials. So I, th I believe you need to have that experience so you can teach the younger attorneys, evaluate the cases, and make the determination as the district attorney of the county which cases go to trial and which cases um, should be resolved without a trial. You know, we only have two judges in the county that handle felony cases, and there's 1,500 cases per year that come in as felonies. So uh, you really have to be someone who can evaluate the cases and find out which is the best way to achieve justice for the victims. All right, so why do you want to be the Broome County District Attorney? Well, I've always wanted to give back to the community, which I've done for 21 years as a prosecutor. Uh, even in private practice, I uh, represented clients that were indigent, that couldn't afford an attorney. I represented children in family court. I mean, this is why I became an attorney, so I could be a prosecutor, so I could help the community. Uh, that's what I want to uh, keep doing for Broome County. This is my home. This is where I've raised my three children with my wife. And um, we want to stay here. I'm not using this as a stepping stone to move on. I want to be the district attorney of Broome County. And I feel that based on my 21 years of training and experience as a prosecutor, uh, I am the most qualified candidate to do that. Um, what do you think are the biggest issues in this campaign? Well, there are several major issues in the campaign. Um, what I'd like to point to is the issues of you need experience, you need results, and you need integrity for the job as district attorney. The DA's job is a very important job. Um, people's lives are hanging in the balance sometimes by the decisions that are made by the district attorney. And that's why you need that experience that I've acquired over 21 years. As far as results, uh, since I've been in as chief assistant, crime is down 20%. Overdose deaths have been cut in half. We've expanded drug treatment court and implemented new programs to give people alternatives to incarceration so they can get their lives back on track. These programs were not necessarily in existence before. They've been expanded, they've been reworked, and they've been very successful. Uh, I've over, been able to oversee these programs along with the current administration, and, and they're very important for our community. I want to keep these things going. We're, we are trending in the right direction, despite what other people say. Crime overall is down 20%. And you mentioned integrity. Integrity is a very important aspect of the district attorney's office. That's why I find it very unnerving that individuals in the campaign put out false information and outright lie uh, about, about things. Um, the voters of Broome County deserve a DA that will always tell them the truth. And I will do that. I will not put out false advertising. I will not spin facts uh, away from the truth. 
Uh, I think it's very important that the uh, DA is a trusted member of the community, someone who has the experience and someone who has a great reputation in the community. I believe I've built those uh, relationships with local law enforcement, not the top brass that never go into a courtroom. I'm talking about the uh, individuals that work hard every day, the trusted men and women in law enforcement who go out on the streets and keep us safe. I've had a great relationship with all police over the years in my 21 years as a prosecutor. I expect that to continue uh, when I'm district attorney. What sort of personal skills, aside from your experience, what sort of personal skills do you possess that make you good, at, would make you good at being district attorney? Well, you have to be able to manage people. Uh, and I have a proven track record of doing that. I'm the uh, chief assistant district attorney right now, but I'm also chief of the Violent Crimes Bureau. Uh, when the violent crimes come in, I have several attorneys under me, and I'm overseeing the whole office at this point in time as well. Uh, you need to supervise these individuals. They come to you with questions about how to handle a case. Uh, you really have to have gone through that with the experience of trying a lot of cases, being in front of a lot of judges, having a lot of legal issues come before you that need to be resolved in the correct way to get justice for the victims. If you've never done that before, you won't have a clue as to what to tell the younger attorneys as to how they're to handle a case if a problem arises in court. So, ultimately, Mike, why should people vote for you? It really comes down to what I've said before experience, results, and integrity. I have the most experience as a prosecutor of any candidate out there. 21 years of getting justice for crime victims, working side by side with law enforcement. Speak with any law enforcement officer that's worked with me, uh, anyone from the Department of Probation who's worked with me, any uh, case workers, social workers, or victim advocates that have worked with me, not with anyone else, worked with me, and they will tell you that I have a very great working relationship with those agencies. I always tell the truth. I will never mislead the public, and that's important. The statistics speak for themselves. 20% reduction in crime rate, uh, treatment programs have expanded, uh, and overdose deaths are down. As far as integrity, you have to have a DA that you can trust. That's the most important thing. I will never tell the voters or the citizens of Broome County a lie. I will never mislead them like all these misleading ads that have come out during the campaign from my opponent. That's just not honest, and I would never do that to the voters of Broome County. Is there anything else you'd like to add that I didn't think to ask? Well, I think um, one of the issues that also has arisen in the course of the campaign is endorsements. Um, who has what endorsement seems to be an issue in the campaign. I know the voters of Broome County are very intelligent and they can sort of see through what's a personal endorsement versus what's a working endorsement. Uh, I think you got to look at that very closely. I'm endorsed by the Honorable Martin E. Smith, the Broome County Court judge who retired after 25 years on the bench. He was the one who was in the best position to see myself and my opponents in court on a daily basis. Uh, I'm also endorsed by retired uh, state police, retired sheriff's officers, retired Endicott police, Binghamton, and Johnson City. I think that's very important that I had these working relationships with them. Mr. Batisti has never worked side by side with police. He may be personal friends, he may have been an attorney for some individuals, but when it comes right down to it, it's the work you did in court. The 14 murder cases that I tried, uh, the over 100 felony jury trials, that's the experience that the people deserve in a district attorney.